Page 36, Scarborough Fair. This is the last piece in level one. Congratulations if you have made it this far. You've done very well. Again, I would really encourage you, before going on to level two, go back through level one again, at least one time, maybe two more times, to make sure you really got all these symbols and things and learn it all. It's important. In this piece, they're telling you about broken chords. You've had broken chords before, so it's not new. You're simply, rather than, look at the left hand, rather than playing this chord, all the notes at once, you're just playing one at a time. It's got dotted rhythms in it again. Look at the second measure in the right hand. You got an eighth note followed by a dotted quarter note, so it's one and. One and two and three and. This is three, four time. So the first line is this. One and two and three and. One and two and three and. One and two and three and four. So just watch the rhythm. It can get you. As far as the fingering goes, follow their fingering because again it's not a five finger position. It's not what you're going to think it is, so watch out. For instance, in the second measure you're playing the B's in the right hand with fifth finger, but when you get to the next measure it's third finger on the F sharp. And yes, it's an F sharp. You look at the key signature. It's got one sharp. You're saying, oh, it's in G major. No, actually it's not. Again, they're throwing you a curve. They're giving you something new without explaining what's going on. It's, I hate that. It's an E minor. We'll explain why later. E minor and G major share the same key signature. Oh, but this is an E minor. That's pretty much the right hand that I have to say. Left hand, again, you got the chords. But take a look at the second line. Because you're here, remember the F sharp. Now watch the second measure, fingering. It's five, four, two, and then a three one for the A C sharp, and then a two one for the B D sharp in the next measure, and then nothing for the rest. <laughs> so that part's a little tricky. It's about the only tricky part in the left hand is right in there. So just get those chords here and here as best you can. Melodies in the right hand, that's what we want to hear. So bring out the right hand just a little bit. Now because your hands are moving around a little bit, I want to point out a few of these movements. If you follow the fingering and just do what they're telling you to do, you're fine. I'm just going to point out a few of these. With the right hand, here we go. You're starting out fine. First two measures are fine. Then you're playing, you're reaching down to get the F sharp with the third finger. Now, on the second line, you have a quarter rest, but you want your second finger on the B, because you're here. Now you got to go up to here. you got one beat to do it in, because again, it's a quarter rest. So as the left hand plays that first note, you move your right hand up. You're down here. So you're ready to go, have it there before you need it there, on the second beat. On the third line, you're here, reach down and get the G with the thumb, and now scratch your hand together and put the fifth finger on, on the B. In the last line, you're going to play the first note with second finger, because that's where you are. Then reach up and get the B with the little finger. And then the last two measures, you're playing the F sharp with second finger. Thumb, cross over the thumb to play the D. And then third finger on the last note. You can get that alright. In the left hand, it can get a little tricky too. Just watch what they're doing. It's straightforward, I think. I already pointed out the chords. Look at the third line. The first two measures are fine. You got that broken chord. Now for the third measure, look out. Because now you've got to reach down with the second finger to get the G. And you're in this position when you end the line. But then in the last line, you, you want here. So scrunch up a little. 
and catch the E, come up and get the E for one measure, then go back down to the D for the next measure. And the last chord is a 4 2 1. Because I'm in this position, I'm just going to go to here. It works out okay. Now it's kind of tricky when the hands, each hand is playing a note and they're different fingers and different rhythms and you think, well, yeah. For instance, look at the third line down. Let's just go through that line because it's kind of tricky. You have, you're here. Now watch the third measure. It's a two in the left hand but a five in the right hand. See the black notes are running out. And then the last measure. So you may have to practice those measures just to get the right notes because you want to be able to play them in rhythm. No hesitation, no glitches, no wrong notes. Just real right there. You got to so keep going over it until you can get it there. Look at the last three measures there. On the last line you're here. And then you're on the next to the last measure. Here it's a two in the right hand and a five in the left. And then a 4 1 here. And you're crossing over in the 2 and then playing a 3 here. See, one, one hand's playing a white note, the other hand's playing a black note. And then here. So you may have to work on those just a little bit until you can play them in rhythm, just like it's supposed to be. 3 4 time. Let's play it together slowly. I'll give us three counts. You're starting out here and here. Here we go. One, ready, go.